going to do a couple stretches that will help with your back, uh, spine, upper, middle, and lower back muscles. Some of the, my favorite um, stretches that I like to, to do if I'm feeling a little tight in those areas. And then also in your uh, back of your leg, the people get sciatic pain and the uh, piriformis is a muscle that's deep in your um, uh, butt, for lack of another term, or in your glute, deep behind those glute muscles, there's a piriformis muscle that is a small muscle that tends to get tight and the sciatic nerve runs through, through that and causes pain if it's tight. So I will show you a couple stretches that will help with your back and that other muscle. So let's get started on our hands and knees in a tabletop position. So if you're brand new to yoga, um, this is tabletop where you have your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and tuck the toes. So this is a neutral tabletop position. So if you're ever taking a yoga class and the teacher refers to uh, tabletop, you know now what tabletop is. So, um, so cat and cow is a really, um, a really popular movement that is used in a lot of yoga classes and one of my favorites, especially to get the body warmed up. So with this tabletop position, we'll be working with our inhales and exhales with our movement, which is a huge part of yoga. So with our inhale, we're gonna to come to our cow pose. So cow is when you pull your heart through, like you're trying to pull the heart through your arms, lift the chest, pull the collarbones forward. And as I do this, the tailbone is shooting up, belly button's pressing down towards the mat. So here's your inhale. So thinking of really pressing belly button down, lifting tailbone up, lifting chest, lifting gaze. And as we come into our cat, we're gonna round the back, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin towards your chest, round to the back like you're trying to press hard with those palms to really make space between those shoulder blades. So here's your exhale. Good, inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze, come through into your cow. So thinking of really just moving into this pelvis too, that movement of the pelvis is really helping this low back. Good, exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone, tuck that chin towards your chest. Good, inhale, come back to your cow, inhale, lift. Good, exhale, round, and really starting to feel that back move, that spine move. Both direction, inhale, moving through, lifting the heart. Exhale, round the back, really tuck that tailbone, drop that chin to chest, pull that tailbone in. Good. And then one more time, inhale to cow. Exhale, round to cat. Good. And then come back to neutral position. All right, so that's your cat and cow. Like I said, very popular movement we use a lot of times in getting warmed up in a yoga practice. Um, the other um, move I'd like to show you is a kind of a supine pigeon pose. So you're gonna come on your back. If you don't have a yoga mat at home, it's okay. You can use a towel or just lay right on your carpet, whatever's comfortable. So come back onto your back. So, Again, this muscle runs along the back of your leg, deep inside that glute muscle. So let's take the left ankle, cross it right above the right knee. So you're kind of a figure four position here. And this may be enough for you here, just kind of getting into this hip a little bit. It may not be enough for the back of that leg, but if this, you're just starting out and you just want to stay here, feel free. But if you want to go a little deeper, I do have a strap, or if you don't have a strap, maybe a towel or a piece of fabric. This is always a good thing to have handy too. If you have one, like I said, anything works. Um, if you don't have it, you could use a, a towel, but if you can't reach for that leg. So with that ankle crossed over the knee, reach for the back of your right thigh. If you can't reach for that because you're just feeling a little tight, take a strap or a towel behind the thigh and lift that leg up. So as you lift that leg, right away start to feel that stretch transfer to behind the leg into that glute muscle. So 
lifting and pulling that right knee in towards your chest. Feeling a nice stretch and trying to keep your head and neck down. If this is too much to have your head down, prop a pillow behind your head too. You could do that, prop the pillow so you're kind of resting on, so you're not straining into the neck, but just lifting and holding that knee towards your chest to where you feel that stretch start to happen. Good, and you'll do the same thing on the other side with the right leg, so right ankle crossing over to above the left knee. So it's, it's not on the knee, it's right above the knee on that thigh. Yep, and then reach for that left thigh this time. So pulling left knee in towards your chest or using the strap or towel, pulling it through. And then getting a nice stretch into that right side. So you may have pain on both of the back of the legs, maybe on one of the legs. This is a great way to feel into both sides and just do stretching both legs because if you have the pain on one side, you're favoring the other side, it's only a matter of time before it starts to happen on the other leg. So keeping those stretches equal on both legs and then letting that foot come back down towards the ground, releasing the strap if you're using it and just pulling knees in towards your chest. Should feel good on that low back. This is really another good low back stretch with low back pain, which many of us do. I'm just taking those knees into a circle and changing the direction. It's really good for your digestion too when you have your knees pulled into your chest. And just taking as much time as you need in these positions and doing a little bit each day. You don't have to do a whole lot, but just doing a little bit each day just to get started. So hopefully that helps. And thank you for joining me. Have a great day.